Noah, please. I promised my grandfather to get you and your whole family to come to the estate for his murder is announced party. Don't make me look bad to him. Not after he just bailed you out of jail. Well, if he bailed me out, Fancy, which I still find hard to believe. Look, I'm sorry. It's a no-go. <sighs> Sam, can't you let bygones be bygones? Grampy really wants you to come. <sighs> Fancy, you're so naive when it comes to Alistair. This man doesn't throw parties for fun. He's always got some sadistic plan up his sleeve. Oh, come on. That's not fair. I have not been to one single event that this man has thrown without something horrible happening. Look what happened the last time at his wedding to Teresa. Besides, Sam and I have invited neighbors and friends here for New Year's Eve, and it is too late to cancel. <sighs> Noah, please. You should have heard Grampy. He really wants to get to know you for my sake. He's finally accepted the fact that we're a couple. And you actually believe him? Look, I, I really am sorry, Fancy, but there is nothing in the world that could get me to go to Alistair's party tonight. End of story. I think you're being very petty, Noah Bennett. Uh. My grandfather is a very proud man, yet now he's admitting that he was wrong about you and he wants the chance to get to know you. Oh, forget it, Fancy. Listen, the only reason Alistair Crane has for getting to know anyone is to find their weakness and exploit it. You're absurd and ungrateful. He just bailed you out of jail. No, 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 wait, okay. He told you that he had me bailed out of jail, but that doesn't mean he actually did it. Okay, Alistair twists the truth any way he sees fit. My father's right. Every time Alistair throws a party, it's to hurt somebody, and I don't want it to be me or you. Okay? Now, I'm going to stay away from the estate tonight, and I want you to stay away, too. I can't. At the very least, I have to go home to change for New Year's Eve. No, no, no. You can borrow something from Kay. Listen, that ad in the newspaper, it's bizarre, all right? Something weird is going to happen up there tonight. I can feel it. Nancy, we have to stay away from the estate tonight, okay? Something wicked's going down up there. Oh, please. Haven't you heard of murder parties before? Someone plays the murder victim and stages an elaborate death somewhere and you spend the rest of the night trying to figure out who the murderer is. Listen to me, Fancy, all right? I've got a very bad feeling about this. I'm not going and I don't want you to go either. How am I supposed to explain that to Grampy? Come on, you're the one who says you got him wrapped around your little finger. He'll forgive you. I suppose. <laughs> See? So we can stay here for your mom and my dad's party. It'll be fun. All right. But I'm not going to borrow a dress from Kay. Mm -hmm. I've got something up at the estate that'll knock your socks off. I'll be back here as soon as I change. All right. Hey, be careful. <laughs> Sometimes you are hilarious. Ah, looking good, Mrs. W. Well, thank you, Noah. You're looking very handsome yourself. <laughs> Where's Fancy? All right, she went home to get changed. But she's coming right back here? Yeah. Good. Good, I don't want her anywhere near Alistair's murder party. The idea of it just gives me chills. Looking sharp, Daddy. Listen, have any of you seen Jessica? Uh, not since she took out the trash. Well, she's not in her bedroom. She's not anywhere downstairs. Oh, no, Sam, you don't think she... I don't know what to think, Ivy, but listen, I'm sorry, but I have to go find her. Oh, yeah. Hello? Noah, it's Fancy. I I'm home, and Gwen, Teresa, little Ethan, and Jane are locked in the nursery. They can't get out. Well, is there a handyman on duty? No, it's more than that. There's... Something strange going on around here. I don't know what, but I'm scared. Can you come up here? Yeah, I'm on my way. 